Hello there. In this episode, I wanted to show you how to use the YouTube video editor. Did you even know that was a video editor? It's very similar to the one in Twitch, yet completely unintuitive. And I thought maybe I'll make a video about how to use it. It's very helpful to top and tail clips. So take the beginning off and take the end off and leave a bit in the middle. But you can also make proper edits. I mean, can I, I say proper, they're not frame accurate, but they let you take one bit from the front, then leave out the middle and put another bit from the end and then put another bit, you know, so you can make multiple edits and then kind of collapse the whole thing to a new clip and you can overwrite the existing video or you can create a new clip from it so you have the choice there if you override an existing video uh, note that it will always be transcoded but the comments and likes and everything and the URL will stay the same. So you have a, if you have a long video that took off and you think, hey, actually there was this bit in the middle that is a bit of misinformation that needs to be taken out, you can do that and retain the view count and all the rest of the metadata. Let's take a look how it works. So either from the front page of YouTube, you can click on that little icon that's your own icon and uh, select YouTube Studio, or you just type in studio.youtube.com and that gets you into the back end of YouTube. Over here, head over to videos and pick a video of your choice either an upload or a live i might just go and take today's live test this was only a short test here so i might just go and use this click under details and that'll open the whole metadata for that video so thumbnail description all that all the rest of it once you're there there's this editor icon on the left hand side here when you click into that watch what happens the web browser turns almost turns into a video editor which is very exciting you can make the video bigger if you like. Sometimes, because this is all totally beta, sometimes this has a black background, sometimes it has a white background. I don't really know why, but you know, anyway, this is the YouTube video editor. You can see where adverts have been inserted. You can add blurs, that's still the old interface, and you can make edits in here. This is your timeline, so you can kind of scrub through it, and eventually this will show you where that thing is. It does take it does take a moment you can also play the video so just like a like a regular video uh, sometimes it works better than other times <laughs> but if it was going to play you can see the waveform down here you can see where you might want to trim things off let's cover topping and tailing first shame this isn't working that'd be really good if that were working here i can actually show you this with motion video but i guess not today bizarro world Anyway, to top and tail a video, you head over, oh, there we go, finally, awesome stuff. You can click the trim button and then these handles will appear on the front and on the back. And these are the ones that you can now go and slide into position and therefore make a shorter clip out of your video. Once you've done that, you can also zoom in here if you wanted to uh, make a more accurate edit via the audios here. So this is nice to see that you can actually see the, the audio waveforms here. You can trim this bit out and uh, that's not quite the edit yet. If you wanna, if, if that is all you wanna do, you have to head over to preview, and then those lines go away, then you, that lets you preview the edit and then you can either save it, which will over save the original video or you can hit these little three dots here and say save as new and at that point the original video will be left intact and you can give it a funky title here i'll just call it test uh, let's call it test one top and tail there we go you can leave it as a private video you can even delete the original video if you want but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to go save it as new and now youtube will go ahead and kind of extract that bit in the background it'll take a while maybe half an hour an hour depends on how busy i guess youtube is but that'll create a new video for you let me go and show you where that is before we go back into this video editor and i'll show you how to take a bit in the middle out so these videos, they're not hiding under live, even though the original video was here, those are hiding under uploads. And you can see how YouTube is going to work here. This SD is being 0% processed. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's working in the background there. So that's a brand new video, but the original video is still there. So you can head over again to live here. I'll go and use the same video under details. I'll head over to my editor here. 
and uh, luckily YouTube remembers where these edits have been made. Now, if I wanted to have a bit from the front and a bit from the end, I would almost go about the same way as we've just seen it. So first of all, I can, you know, I can search in my video and see where I'd like to start. And perhaps this is a good in point for me. I don't know. I'll just go hit trim and I'll define the in point just like I did. Once again, I can zoom in here if I wanted to, to make a better guesstimate at, as to where that in point needs to be. And now I say, perhaps I want to go up to here and this is going to be my end point. Then I'd like to leave a bit out and I have another piece of the, of like towards the end that I'd like. So once I've done that, I can position my playhead, say at a position where I'd like to make that split and I hit split and that'll now split that clip up. And notice I have more blue handles here now. So there's the back handle, which is the out point of my first clip. And I have another handle here, which is the in point of my second clip. So I can go and leave that here, go zoom all the way out. And I'll say perhaps this is another bit I'd like. So then I can go ahead and turn that into another clip from here to there. As I said, it's not exactly frame accurate. I don't really know how they do it. I would imagine they're going to the nearest iframe that they can find in the sequence and that's where the edit happens. But that's pure guesswork here, pure speculation. You can do this as many times as you like. Just make sure that when you do want to make a split, it has to be in one of the white bits. So it can't be in the grayed out bit. If I wanted to make a split here, YouTube isn't going to allow me that. So this is going to be, you know, grayed out. But as soon as I'm in the white bit, I can make another split and then make another edit there if I want it. Clear all will, of course, get rid of everything. Or once again, if you wanted to save this as a new edited clip, I'll head over to preview and then go to these three dots here head over to save as new, give it a nice description here. I'll maybe call that one uh, test two uh, proper edit. Don't know. You can also make it public immediately. And once again, delete the original video. Careful with that. You might as well do that manually and just hit uh, save as new. There we go. And then you can create a new edit right away if you wanted to. So you can either edit this and turn it into like a slightly different edit, or you can go and say clear all and then basically begin from scratch. One other thing I wanted to bring to your attention that is on these little three dots icons here, uh, there is the keyboard shortcuts. If you want to explore this further, just click it and you'll see that there's a variety of keyboard shortcuts to navigate the timeline and, and navigate your edits while you're doing that. Have a look at that. It is kind of fun to play with it. I've only just discovered it and it really turns longer videos into snappier, shorter bits, especially if you're doing live streams. That is kind of a great way. If you don't want to download the video, if you don't have a local recording it is much quicker to use the youtube video albeit not as elegant as it would be if you'd use one on your desktop that is it for today thank you so much for dropping by if you like this video then of course share it with friends family and total strangers and i will see you in the next episode take care bye bye